I hate seeing my roof like this. I don't have friends over. I don't have my family over. A San Marcos woman is suffering through the rain with a giant hole in her roof. Tonight, this jerry-rigged covering here is all that is keeping water from pouring into her home. 10 News reporter Michael Chen has the loophole that she says prevents her from getting the roof fixed. This family room in San Marcos is supposed to be a place of relaxation, but relaxing is hard to do because of what's looming above. We have some nice mushrooms growing here. Everywhere you look. And then we have all this mold here. Signs of water <laughs> and tears of worry. I'm going into panic mode. Of what the night will bring. I hate seeing my roof like this. This is hidden by the plastic. Here's a photo of what's above it. Nervous. My stomach gets really nervous. A four by four foot hole in the ceiling. It all began seven years ago. It started out as a drip. Tiffany Gibson says she contacted her insurance carrier Allstate. I reported it. And learned the roof must be 10 years old or less to be covered. She says it took two months to confirm with the previous owner the roof was six years old when she called Allstate back. The lady on the phone said, did you get a reference number? Gibson says because there was no assigned number or record of that initial call, the hole was deemed a pre-existing condition and not covered. And the one time we do decide to use them, they're not helping us. Eventually, the hole grew much bigger, especially during the October rains. Faced with financial problems, Gibson couldn't afford the repairs upwards of $10,000. Funnels down to the tube. Gibson has set up a system to divert rain to an outdoor bucket. It's not going to survive. But she knows the roof may soon give way. My fear is that waking up in the middle of the night, listening to the roof just completely cave in. Michael Chen, 10 News. So dangerous. All state insurance declined to comment on the case, citing privacy reasons, but did say they cover sudden or accidental loss. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help with the roof repairs. We have a link on 10news.com. You can click on the red television button.